Good morning, my name's Rick. I'm the head professional at City Golf. We've arrived here on this beautiful Labor Day morning. It's the 1st of May and we've been invited to play at Templar Park this morning. As you can see, we've got an absolute cracker of a day. Um, we are teeing off on the first tee box in a couple of minutes. I haven't played here before, so I'm really looking forward to the round of golf. I'm just going to hit a few putts. I believe the greens are fantastically quick because we've got the amateurs playing here starting off tomorrow. So the greens are looking fantastic. Uh, we're just going to have a great day out. We've got three South Africans in the group, so it should be a good laugh. With views like this, we're bound to have a great day. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see you in a little bit. Cheers. Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh. It's my first time here in the golf course. I'm pretty excited. I'm here to learn about photojournalism. Play my Not that quick. Okay, I'm going to stop shining off. I mean, guys, if you want to know about a quick downhill putt, I mean, have a look at this. It's down grain, downhill. It's going to be very quick. Don't know how we're going to stop this short. Yeah. This is simply a beautiful course. Shark wreck. Uh, you have absolutely annihilated that. Tend to run out of three. Two. Look at that. Okay, Latifa, what, what flower do we have here? This flower is named Bunga Raya. Bunga Raya? Yeah, okay. Malaysian is national flower. National flower, yeah, flower. Yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I mean, you can see the vegetation here. It's unbelievable. We're right in the forest. Uh, mountain limestone mountains behind us. It's absolutely exquisite. So we're having an absolute cracker out here today. Thank you, Latifa. You can go back to okay. sort out the boys over there. All right, we're through the first three holes. Um, we had a great little par five to start off with. It's horrible to have the muscles <laughs> all cold uh, to start off the round, but pretty straightforward par five. It was only 500 yards. Um, you, know, you just had to, to drive down the fairway. Bunkers both left and right, but a, a very easy second shot to the green. Uh, we managed to squeeze through there with, with pars. The second hole is a little par three. Uh, it's only a nine iron for myself. It's 160 yards. Most guys will hit it about a seven or an eight iron. Very well bunkered, very steep faces. So make sure you get up onto the green. That is goal number one. We unfortunately all hit it short, so we had to contend with those traps. The par 4 we've just played is the index 1, the stroke 1, the most difficult hole. For us longer hitters, it's not too much to worry about, but for the shorter hitters, there's water on the right hand side, trees on the left, so you've got to be very, very accurate with your tee shot, hit it down the middle, and you've probably got about a 5 or a 6 iron into the green. Uh, I'm lucky enough, I smashed a, a really good drive, only had a pitching wedge into the green, so it was an easy par for myself. 
We're shooting up to the next three holes. We'll catch you in a few minutes. Cheers. I just pull the ball a little bit to the left, but it gives me a very good angle into the green. And pretty happy with it. Much worse places to be on this on this hole. We've got out to bounds on the right, so that's the only place you want to avoid. If you're going to make a mistake on this hole, if you want to make it left, because it gives you a chance still to score. Alright guys, I've just did a great drive here, right down the middle. I've got about 130 yards to the stick. Um, pin tucked away on the right hand side. I'm probably going to just choke down a little bit of a 9-9. Nine -nine, try and hit it close. See if we can make a birdie. Okay, if you look behind me, you can see this beautiful rock. It's a feature of Templar Park, but I want to draw your attention to one thing. If you look down at the green, you can actually see that the greens are very wide but not very deep. So it makes club selection extremely important. You want to be sure that you have the right club when you come into the green. How far have we got? 140 yards to the pin, sir. 140 yards, okay. I don't think that's enough. Um, 99, please. Thank you. Just playing into the wind. Oh, that's you. Made it. Yes. Boom. Boom. Sandy of death. that the only defense on this golf course really is is the green. You know the green are, the greens are absolutely so tricky. Uh, very very tough to get the speed right. Uh, very grainy. Very quick down the hill. Very slow up the hill. A lot of slope as well. And the way they've cut the pins today, uh, just so tight. So you've got to have absolute precision uh, with distance control. I think the pins are in preparation for the amateurs here uh, tomorrow, so they're getting a bit of a bit of practice time in today. So we've had a couple of part fours. Um, again, pretty straightforward apart from the, the out of bounds on the fifth hole on the right hand side, but otherwise great little holes. You know, we're, go, we're going along nicely. Again, absolutely gorgeous day. It's, I'm sure you've heard it's absolutely impossible to concentrate with this kind of vista around us. So we're just loving our time out here, and we're shooting into the last three holes and uh, looking forward to a little cold drink at the ninth hole. See you later. Cheers. I think the, the cracks in the, in the wall over there, um, 
we're just debating whether it's mining or, or water erosion. I've got I've got uh, 20 bucks on the fact that it's it's water erosion and water dripping down over time. Um, the club seems to think that uh, it's a bit of mining, so we're going to have to ask, ask the manager when we get into the clubhouse. But either way, awesome, very nice to look at. Pulled it. It just slopes straight down the hill. Uh, as you've seen, the greens are extremely narrow here, so there's not much error, or room for error, should I say. So we've just got to carry it over that ridge that we can see just ahead of the bunker there. And it's just going to feed down to the flag. We've only got about 10 to 12 feet uh, after we've reached that down slope. So it is a terribly difficult shot here. I've got a lob wedge, 60 degree wedge over here. And uh, we're just trying to hit it nice and high. Nice soft hands, get it land softly and hopefully check it up a little bit on the down slope. Perfect. Be good. Short. Damn it. Now this putt's just to move. Sit. Sit. I mean, there's nothing much to say about that miss, eh? Except it's the game of golf. Rubber the green. Rubber the green. I don't know if it's taken. Uh, just... Right, off the scorecard, which uh, I'm not too sure which tee box it plays, but uh, it is a 395 yard hole. Um, I've just had an absolute cracker. This uh, Off the scorecard it's just gone 295 yards, so it's a fair hit. I've only got 100 yards into the green. Uh, it's slightly uphill, so we're looking at playing probably about 130 yards. Um, that's all I have to say about it. There's not much to you know that's stopping me from making a birdie here so I really need one let's try to get it get one nice and close so anyway I'm back I'm sweet yeah it's uphill it's into the grain hit it well you could down the grain Oh, just stop it, man. I can't believe. Uh, only a par, unfortunately. Uh, hit the slope, ripped back. A lot of backspin, so I had long, <laughs> two long putts, but straight up the hill I left it a good uh, 12 feet short. I managed to make the, the 12 foot for par, so quite happy. Put some pressure on Steve, I quite like that. Alright, so we're three nine holes at Templar Park. Uh, we've played the front nine. Uh, haven't played spectacular golf, but uh, we've just enjoyed ourselves so much. Um, again, the greens are fantastic. They're in perfect nicks, so if you hit the putt on line, the ball will go in the hole. Uh, the last three holes that we've played, a uh, lovely little par four, uh, sorry, par five. Uh, it's, it's a long hole. Um, I smashed driver and another three wood, and I don't hit the ball very short, and I still couldn't get up to the green. 
Uh, managed to squeak away a par there. Um, just very well bunkered, just long, tough par, par five, out of bounds right, out of bounds left, so great hole. Then we had a little par, par three, super little hole right over the water. It only plays 150 meters or 165 yards. A uh, little cut eight iron was perfect, managed to two putt a par over there. And we've just had a two putt par four over here, a uh, great little par four. I smashed a drive 295 on the carry, so I'm quite happy with that. A little sand wedge into the green, unfortunately it spun too much, but we'll take it. Big down slope uh, toward the fairway, so you've got to make sure that you get it up to the top tier. This is a double tier green. Uh, again, the greens are the only defense on this golf course, so it's very, very important that you hit the right distances, you get the right lines into the hole. When I play here for a second time, I'm definitely going to play a lot better because I'll know to hit the ball in the right places on the green and that's what counts the most. Anyway, we're shooting to the back nine now. Going to grab a quick drink. We'll see you on the back nine. Cheers.